computational thinking and problem solving we will see about computational thinking and problem solving in python in that we will see the fundamentals of computing what is computer computer is nothing but it is an electronic device it is used to store data and processing the data and give the output to the user computer are used for variety of purpose starting from arithmetic calculation to a very complex data analysis such as weather forecasting satellite launching etc we are using computer it is a very versatile versatile one that means do lot of different tasks such as storing data booking airlines and etc we will see about the data what is data data is nothing but it is an unprocessed collection of raw data it is suitable for communication and processing then next we will see about the information information is a collection of facts that is processed to give ordered or structured information then we will see about the application of the computers computer used in business industry home education training entertainment arts science and engineering and in mathematics the application of computers are banking science education medicine and healthcare engineering architecture manufacturing entertainment communication business application publishing and banking we are using the application in all these facts okay then next we will see about the components of computer computer is nothing but a combination of hardware and software see in this picture this is first one is hardware second one is software the combination of hardware and software is called computer okay what is hardware computer hardware is nothing but it is a visible component of the computer it is enable computer system function properly in that example we will see monitor cpu speaker ups that are that are called hardware because we can touch that hardware okay then software a set of program that can be executed sequentially is called software user can use software but can't able to touch like hardware in this example see the what are all the software is here the google chrome word chrome microsoft that are called software okay software is a set of program there are five basic components are there that are all input unit output unit memory unit control unit and arithmetic and logic unit we will see one by one okay first this is the block diagram of computer okay see first we will give the input to the computer in that cpu the process will be done in the cpu and the result will be give to the monitor okay we will get the output from the computer we will see one by one first we will see input unit what is the input unit we will give data to the computer that is the input okay we will, how we will give input to the computer by using keyboard joystick we are giving the input to the computer that is the input unit then next we will see about the output unit what is the output unit the we will get a result from the computer we will give the data to the computer that is called input unit we will get output from the monitor that is called output unit okay we will get the result from the monitor of the computer okay then we will see about the central processing unit this central processing unit is called the brain of the computers the all action take place without can take place without its permission and execution as a main processing unit okay no action will take place without the permission and execution of the main processing unit and it communicates with all the other components of the computer and has three components that help in the smooth functioning of the cpu that is uh, first we will see about the arithmetic and logic unit it have the two main functions arithmetic logic unit it have the two main function that is arithmetic it will perform the arithmetical operation and logical operation what is arithmetical operation we will 
do the addition subtraction multiplication that is called the arithmetic operation by using the arithmetic operation and la what is logical operation operation logical operation is nothing but we will check the condition by using